Hi there, I'm Coach Craig Kenneth, and today's video is going to be about... She's been acting weird since our date. So, one of the things that you guys need to be aware of is that sometimes a woman will act very differently from before your date and then after your date. And you want to be aware of this because if you're not, it can really trigger some anxiety. You have to understand that a woman's interest level is going to rise and fall like the sea and their emotions are going to change like the clouds in the sky. And if you can prepare yourself and understand that, then when it happens, you don't freak out when you feel the disconnect. So I've got some good pointers here and a good email to go through and you definitely want to make sure you watch this one. Um, Here's an email from Frank that says, Hey Craig, I really need your help with this situation. I don't understand women at all. Few do. I was talking to a girl I had met online. She was acting really interested in the beginning. We talked for about a week, and she was being really sweet. She called me love and hun all the time in the text messages. And I liked that. She would text me first, sometimes in the morning, or then later in the day to see how I was doing. So, you can see here that this girl's interest level is pretty high. She's contacting him on her own, see how he's doing, calling him love, giving him little terms of endearment. So that's that shows high level of interest right there. So let's see what happens. He said, I met her at the restaurant for our date and it was going great. We had lunch. He knows what I'm going to say here. He said, I had to break the evening date rule because we both have kids and it would have been a while before we could have seen each other. I've been in this situation. It is tough. It is a tough situation. Sometimes you just got to make the best of it. Always go for an evening date if you can. But if you have to switch it, do it. But understand it could be, it could be detrimental. Um... The thing is, is that evening dates are much more likely to lead to romance. And that's what you're going for, a romantic date. Daytime dates can be tough. Morning dates, even more brutal. So, he says, we had three glasses of wine. Before we left the restaurant, we went to the restroom, which is in a secluded area. It got really passionate. She climbed on my lap and made out with me. We went for a walk around the lake, holding hands and kissing at different points. We made out in the car and got really passionate. She seemed totally interested in me. She talked sexual with me about things that she liked and it was great. After the date, everything changed. She stopped initiating contact I would see her online on the dating site where we met. It made me feel insecure and anxious. I could sense it was not the same. She stopped calling me nicknames, which made me even more anxious. Yep, I could see exactly what you mean, because you could tell her interest level was dropping. You probably became fearful at that point. Now the thing is, is that this is going to happen a lot. You have to expect it. You have to prepare for it. Is her interest level at the, lower at this point? Yes, it is. Yeah, you can see it. I can see it. But it also could be a test. She could be wanting to see how you handle yourself in this situation. And she might not even know that, that she's testing you. Might be unconscious. But if she's talking to other guys, don't sweat it. You see her online on the wait on the dating website, and it you know you're just like oh I thought we had a great date, and you're stressed out and you're freaking out and you're just wanting to be like ah, but they're not gonna know what you know. They're not gonna be able to handle relationships like you do when you study my work and you watch the videos that I put out and we do coaching together. I I promise you, no one is gonna be able to be you. You will have no competition. So. 
what you want to do instinctively is start to over pursue and start to chase and that's just going to make things way worse. Um, so he asks, what do I do? Did I do something wrong? I invited her out for a second date, but instead of replying with an answer, she just said, hi, hun. And then I texted her back, hi there, and she never texted back. Okay, so something's going on here. You had a great connection on the date. Some reason after that changed. My gut, my guess is that things went a little too far on the first date for the, the kissing and the making out and whatever you guys were doing to be passionate. And she probably thought that you're only interested in her for sex. That would be my gut. Or, I mean, there could be somebody else in the picture. But that would be my gut. It went very far on the first date. Not very far, but too far for her. And it made her feel uncomfortable that you didn't really care about her. You were just trying to hook up with her. That happens. Be aware of it. So, if I was you, what I would do is I would move on in this situation. Because you texted her and she didn't text back. If you want to contact her again, I would strongly recommend minimum of a week. Honestly, I would wait two weeks. Okay? If you haven't heard from her in two weeks, you could contact her again and just send her a couple text messages. Well, you know, send her one, see how she replies. You know, how are you been? What's going on? Something like that. And, you know, are you, you, when are you free to get together? See if she's interested in going out with you again. Um, but I wouldn't do it for at least a week. I would lean towards two weeks, personally. And wait until your gut feels right. I mean, after two weeks, you might not even be interested anymore. But maybe she'll have had some time. These other losers have fallen off to the wayside. They've done all the things wrong. And now she's like, oh, yeah, yeah, this guy was a really good guy. And, you know, take her out on the date. You know, ask her, you know, when she has, you know, set up a definite date, set a definite time. And... If there's an elephant in the room, you might want to address it casually. Casually, if you feel like you need to bring it up, casually do so and just be like, you know, see if she wants to talk about what happened and it'll give you a chance to reconnect with her. If, if she's feeling disconnected and disconnected after that first date and you're on a second date, just be like, you know, I thought we had a good time after our first date. Did something happen, or was there something up bothering you? And, you know, that you didn't, we haven't gotten together since then. Casually, 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 don't get upset by anything she says. If she said there was another ex in the picture, or she really wasn't sure about you, don't take it personally. Have fun, be playful, you know, make a joke and be like, well, I'm glad you came to your senses. And, you know, be playful about it. You know what I mean? Um, if she doesn't want to go back out with you, it's her loss. And that's the attitude you need to have. You're a great guy. You're a great catch. She can't see that. Okay, then find somebody that will. And find somebody that's going to want to make an effort to be with you. Because it's got to be both people interested in making work. It can't be you just chasing her. So... That's my suggestion to you. Always be prepared that a girl may act differently before a date and after a date. Remember, interest level is always going to go up and down. Feelings are going to change like the clouds in the sky. So, if you want to get my help personally, go to AskCraig.net and sign up for whatever coaching option works best for you. Be sure you subscribe to my videos. I have a lot of great content coming your way. And I... We'll talk with you soon.